Hi, Cherish viewers. I welcome you all to a free TV channel. Please kindly subscribe to a free TV channel and click on the notification bell so that in any, any video we will upload, you will get the notification on your phone that you will watch. You will share for your brother or your sister to also watch. For the past days, getting to one, one week now, the news that have been trending all over the world and all over social media is the death of our beloved sister, Mrs. Osinachi Nwachuku whom was allegedly abused by her own husband that led to her death. And people have been condemning the act by the husband. People have been condemning, talking about abusiveness in marriages and relationships. And a lot of people have been giving advice that no one should stay in an abusive marriage or in an abusive relationship. And if you're in if you're, and if you're in abusive marriage or relationship, you should leave the marriage to save your life because life is very very precious. There's this popular apostle in Nigeria with the name Apostle Oduma Apobasa. He's the founder and the president of Apobasa Global Ministries. Has also come out to condemn abusiveness in marriages. And he has also given advice that no one should stay in an abusive marriage or in an abusive relationship. If you are in an abusive marriage or you are you are in an abusive relationship, you should leave the marriage or the relationship to save your life. And he also gave account when the Holy Spirit directed him to separate an abusive marriage. And he did that. He indeed separated the abusive couples or he indeed separated that marriage and but and today each of them is living happily and then the, each of them has been married to a different people and they are living happily what if the holy spirit did not directed him to separate the marriage maybe by this time one would have lost his or her life please let us watch the video by apostle oduma apobasa when he heard the news that our sister our, our beloved sister our beloved mother osinachi in Wachuku, has lost her soul due to abusiveness in her marriage sister osinachi Wachuku, great great light of the gospel in songs the first day i met her was in my mentor's church dr enenche in abuja when this woman sang, I was weeping like a baby. I was on my knees. I didn't even know. What she finished, I was not aware. That's how powerful her ministrations were. A great light has been snuffed off, put off, not by an outsider, her own husband. Mr. Peter. Husband and wife are not in competition with one another. You are a team. But you don't understand this. I don't understand. Whatever your wife does will offend you. Any little progress she makes, you will be angry. Lama, Lama, Tase, Kaliana. Shalas, Shalas, Leave her alone. But there is a couple I used to know many years ago, fighting almost every week. One will carry knife, one will carry. You know what I'm talking about? Praise God. And by the Spirit of God, God said to me, if you don't do what I ask you to do, one will die. And I called one out. I said, God said, I should separate you so that you can live and not die. And I broke up that marriage. People talk about me all over the city because of that. But today, the man is happy with the wife he married. The woman is happy with the man she now married. They are enjoying peace. I have not had to settle this woman one day since that time. But before, the whole time we cannot to settle fight. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you are in the wrong place, you are in the wrong place. Ah, let God open your eyes before it is too late. And the fight begins when money begins to come in. He never planned that she would die in his hands. But the abuse has been coming. The beatings were constant. And she did everything to be a 
loyal, faithful wife. In her pain, she will come out and minister, and people will be blessed. But nobody saw her tears inside the house. Now she is dead. I cannot trust you, sir. It is my place to pray for you that God will have mercy and wash her blood off your hands and give you peace. I pray for you that you'll be delivered and set free from that spirit. A living dog is better than a dead lion. It is better that you are divorced than to die because of a man. 98% of the time, by statistics, it has been found that in an abusive marriage, one of them ends up dying. It's a fact. It's a pure fact. I understand once in a while disagreement between the husband and wife. Yeah, once in a while. But every week beating, sir, every week beating, every week beating for the past 10 years, every week beating, 15 years, my daughter run away. I say run away because he will kill you. And after he kills you, I will stand here and also pray for his forgiveness. And God will forgive him. But you are snuffed off midway in your destiny. Your life is preserved. You will not be cut short. You will not be killed. You will not die a foolish death. You will not die a useless death. Those who are supposed to love you will not hate you. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, so Apostle Oduma has categorically stated that you shouldn't stay in an abusive marriage. If you're in a, if, if you're in a relationship or if you're in a marriage and, and then if you see that always you've been abused, the man will be beating you every, every week, month. I mean, the man, the man will be beating you. You don't need to stay in that marriage. You have to leave the marriage to save your life. So let me hear your comment on this video by Apostle Oduma Akobasa and kindly subscribe to a free TV channel and click on the notification bell so that any video we will upload you will get the notification for you to watch. We will meet again. Bye bye.